Today, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Stay tuned. Hey guys and welcome. My name is Molly Armando and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be diving into Dartmouth, Dartmouth, Massachusetts. And for those who don't know, I've said it probably a million times, but I live in Dartmouth. I know it very, very well. Uh, and clearly I live here for a reason. It is one of the most beautiful towns in the state of Massachusetts and truly I can't imagine living anywhere else. So today I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Dartmouth, why I love it so much. And yeah, I hope that you find this helpful. I am a real estate agent with a company called Residential Properties. And if you have any questions at all about moving to Dartmouth, things to do, things not to do, places to live, maybe renting in Dartmouth, anything real estate related, I am happy and honored to help you. I have been living in Dartmouth my entire life, so I know the area very, very well. Um, and if you think that this content is helpful, please go ahead and give me the subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified each time I launch a new video, which I try and do one once a week. So I would greatly appreciate that. So full disclosure, I've said this in one of my videos before, uh, but I was voted most likely to live in Dartmouth for my class of relative in high school. And I think I was embarrassed at the time, but now I wear that like a badge of honor. I. I just love Dartmouth. I think that it is perfectly situated near halfway. You're halfway in between the Cape. You're halfway in between Newport, Rhode Island. You have quick access to Providence. You are just about an hour away from Boston. I think that Dartmouth is one of the really one of the most beautiful places in the world. I have been to a a lot of different countries. I studied abroad in Australia. Um, I've traveled around Europe and, you know, I've, I feel like I've gone, you know, I've been exposed to other places in the world and I just could never stay away from Dartmouth because I think it's that beautiful. Um, one thing that's really changed uh, in the area recently is that a lot more families are moving to Dartmouth. And I think that that's, you know, a, a huge uh, reason of that is COVID. So uh, myself personally, I lived in Boston for many years, uh, worked there. And um, the biggest deterrent from me wanting to move from Boston to Dartmouth was the commute. And um, because I wasn't sure if I would be able to get as good of a job down here in Dartmouth versus uh, in Boston. But now that everyone can work remotely, you know, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to work in a beautiful place and be close to the water. So um, I can't tell you how many young families have been moving back here um, just because they can work remotely and um, why not work remotely in a beautiful place. Dartmouth, uh, there are two main, well, in terms of zip codes, there's 02747, which is considered North Dartmouth. So it's more closer towards uh, the highway, more of the like commercialized uh, part of the the, um, the town, uh, closer to the mall. Um, and then there's 02748, which is considered South Dartmouth. So that's closer, you know, obviously it's to the South, but that's um, the area that borders the water and Buzzards Bay. And Dartmouth is huge. In Massachusetts, it is the third largest town in terms of area, um, square footage. So I think it's right after Plymouth and Middleborough. So because Dartmouth is so big, it could take you, you know, maybe 45 minutes to go from the very, very top of Dartmouth all the way down to um, the southern tip of Dartmouth. Um, it's big, it's, it, it's very large. Um, Dartmouth was uh, founded or settled in 1662, I believe. So it's one of the oldest, uh, his most historic uh, towns in this area. And, you know, you can get a feel for that history when you're driving down the streets. There are stone walls lining basically every street. And I 
I just love that. I think that it just, I don't know anything different than seeing all of these old stone walls. Um, I've had relatives that have come to visit this area and they're like, what's the deal with, with all the stone walls? I've never, ever seen more stone walls in my life. And to be honest, it's never something, you know, I've never even noticed it because it's just such a, you know, uh, a common thing to see around here, but it really is so, so beautiful. The combination of these adorable coastal little communities within Dartmouth, there, you know, are it's Paynearum Village, there's Russell's Mills Village. I think the combination of this uh, tied into the fact that they're so close to the water, it attracts people to come back to this area year after year. Um, there are some more affluent uh, areas of Dartmouth uh, in South Dartmouth. Um, they've almost become like summering communities, um, but a lot of people do live there full time. Some of those areas include Salters Point, there's Michon Point, Round Hill, uh, and Nonquit as well. Dartmouth is also home to UMass Dartmouth, which is a part of the University of Massachusetts. It is one of their campuses across the state. Uh, I believe they have close to 8,500 uh, students there, uh, 6,500 undergrad, around 2,000 uh, graduate students. And it has become a, a huge university. Uh, they they really have such great programs there. And what's what I love about it is that it gets more people exposed to this area. Um, I have met friends who uh, went to UMass Dartmouth and, you know, they ended up living here because they loved it so much. And uh, it's, it's interesting, you know, sometimes when you're going to school, you kind of get you know, used to just staying on campus and, you know, you get you get into your routine of studying and all of that. But a lot of students uh, really do take the time to, you know, explore the area. Um, UMass Dartmouth is located in North Dartmouth. So to go and find all the beaches and, you know, it, it does take a little bit of a drive, but I tell you, it is so, so worth it. There are so many different beaches to explore. There are uh, lots of different hiking paths, which I just love. Um, taking my dog on, on a walk in the woods is, is one of my favorite things to do. There are so many, so many um, different options for that. The food here is great. Uh, I, I've talked about this in one of my previous videos, but the influence of Portuguese cuisine is just incredible in this area. Tons of fresh seafood. Um, I think what is so special about this area is no matter what age you are, no matter what stage in your life you're at, Dartmouth is one of those places that I think everyone will be able to find something that they love about it. Whether you are looking to retire and maybe enjoy a slower paced life, settle down a little bit. Um, Dartmouth has so many great things for you to be able to enjoy. There's the beaches, there's hiking trails, there's nature, there is just, there's beautiful farmers markets and farms. Um, but then on the other hand, if you are a family or th maybe thinking about starting a family, a young couple, there are so many things to do. There are great restaurants, there are places to take the kids, and I really truly feel like Dartmouth is a wonderful community. If there is ever a tragedy or you know, something happens to someone who we all know, you know, we we do everything we can to put our arms around them and be there and support them. And, you know, I think in this crazy, you know, the crazy times that we're in, being a part of a community is something at least that I really care about and uh, something that I really appreciate about Dartmouth. I also wanted to just very briefly mention that I went to Cushman Elementary School in Dartmouth. My mom went to Cushman Elementary School. So, but I think what's so crazy about it is that I am still friends with a lot of the same people who I went to elementary school with. Actually, my husband, <laughs> my husband is from, I, I met him in first grade. Um, we have not been dating that long, trust me. <laughs> um, but a lot of our friends, we I've known since elementary school. And I think that that's just so telling that, you know, we all went off to college, we, we, we did our thing and everyone decided to come back. Um, it's, 
Dartmouth's like a magnet, you know, it, um, it brought us all back for a reason. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm so excited for my kids to grow up in this wonderful community and uh, have them experience what I did as a kid. So it's, um, it's really, really a special place. So I know that we only scratched the surface with what Dartmouth has to offer, but if you have any questions about Dartmouth in particular, I am happy and honored to help you. I am here. Uh, all of my contact information is listed below. I am on all forms of social media, so there are many different ways for you to get a hold of me. Uh, but yeah, please don't hesitate to call or text me. Um, I'm always here. Um, and again, please, if you could just subscribe to uh, hit the subscribe button so that you can Get notified each time I launch a new video. Again, my name is Molly Armando. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.